Today I'm going to be making some really nice blackberry tarts. In a prior video, I made some beautiful pastry dough that we're going to be using today, and I also made some French pastry cream, which we're also going to be using in this recipe. So I've got myself a cookie cutter here, and we're also going to be using just a regular cupcake tin. So I'm going to get this rolled out, and then we'll get started on this recipe. Get a little bit of flour now. That's just all-purpose flour. And when you're rolling, you always want to give your dough a little bit of a turn. And if you find that it's sticking a little bit, just get some flour down. You can also take your rolling pin and apply your flour right to the rolling pin. And then just keep rolling. Give it a little turn. Roll it again. So I will have a link to this beautiful pie dough at the end of this video. As well, I will put a link to my French pastry cream. And this is a really, really beautiful dough. It's my favorite. Just give it a little bit of a turn. Just before I cut it, I want to make sure that it's actually moving on my surface so that I get a nice break when I do actually cut my little rounds out. So that's good, just like that. So I'll grab my cookie cutter and I'll just get my first one down. And then let's just verify and you know, see how much it comes up the sides. I don't really want it coming up too much on the sides. Like that is okay. See the size of that? It's coming up about almost halfway. So let's try another size just for fun. So this here is three and one sixteenths of an inch. Basically three inches or 78 millimeters. This one here is slightly larger. This one's 88 millimeters. Let's just try this one for fun. And we'll put this one inside. And right on the fly, I look at them and I say, you know what, I think I'm going to go with the larger one. So this is 88 and this is 78, so there's a difference of 10 millimeters, which is quite substantial. So I'm going to go with the slightly larger one. So at your house, you can use any size you wish. If you want to have your sides actually coming up a little higher, like right to the top, then you'd use, you know, even a larger, you know, little cutter like this. And if you don't have a cutter like this, you can use either a tin can from a can of peas or a large drinking glass. So I'll just get that in there. So I'll keep doing these and I'll fill up all of the cavities and then I'll come back. And that looks good, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab a fork and I'm just going to apply little holes to the bottom. And I do want to chill this, so I'm going to pop this into the fridge for about a half an hour. I want that to rest up. And I'll do the last one here. So at this point, I'm going to pop these into the fridge and let my dough relax. The more relaxed your dough is, the less it will actually shrink when we're baking it. So, I'm going to pop these into my fridge, let them chill down, and then I'll come back. So these have been chilling for about half an hour and I'm going to pop them into my 325 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So my little pastry shells have baked for a total of 30 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point I just want them to cool down so I'll let them cool down and then I'll come back in a little while. And we'll just get our beautiful little shells out. These are nicely browned. I'm really liking the look of these. So the pastry is not super thin which is exactly what I wanted because I do want to have a little bit of substance to these tarts. You don't want to have these things super thin where you're, you're biting into them and the whole thing is like falling apart. So these are really, really nice. So I'm going to let these completely cool now because uh, they're still a little bit warm. So I'll let these completely cool and then we'll fill them. So I've got my beautiful pastry cream here and what I did was I just whipped this up just to get some air into it just before I pop it into my piping bag. I will put a link to this in the description box just in case you wish to make this. So I'm just going to fill up my piping bag here and then we're going to fill our tarts. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, so I've got it in my piping bag and we are ready to go. Now if you don't have a piping bag, you can just keep it in your bowl, whip it up, and then just use a small spoon, use two spoons and kind of just get it in there. And it'll do a great job as well. So I'm just going to start in the middle and I'm just going to slowly depress until I have the amount that I want. We don't want to go overboard, but you don't want to be too skimpy either. That's a good amount like that. And if you've never tried this pastry cream, I really encourage you to try it. It is amazing. A little squeeze. And if you want to try a piping bag, you can take a Ziploc baggie and put your pastry cream in and then just take a, take a pair of scissors and just cut the end. So you have a small hole right in the corner of your bag, at the bottom of your bag, and away you go. And that looks good. Perfect. I have some really, really nice blackberries here. And you can see, you know, this is about the size of two raspberries. And for that reason, I find with this size of shell that you only need one. And I'm just going to place that right in the middle. And what you want to do is you don't really want to leave these overnight like this. I would, you know, you can have your pastry cream ready, you can have your shells ready, and then, you know, an hour or two before you're serving them, you just make them up and have them ready to go. And then that way they are super fresh. So just gently place right in the middle. The pastry cream really holds these in well, as you can see. And choose the nicest ones. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? What did you say? Oh, you want me to zoom in. Okay, hang on. So here we are with a closer look. Don't those look awesome? I do have another six to do. So I'm going to do those and I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to show you all of them just before I say goodbye. So I've just filled my last six for this video. They're all ready to go, and these will all be eaten up within a couple of hours. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This one here is really, really fun. Like I said, I will link to all of the things that you saw me do in this video. So we have the actual making of our beautiful dough. I will link to that one. Also, the actual pastry cream, I will put a link for that as well. And you'll find those underneath the video in the description box. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was super, super fun to make and these are going to be really good. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. I'd really appreciate that. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.